What's good, everybody? Yeah, it's your boy. Oh, Duke Jackson. Back at it again. With another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Guys, I want to talk more about Ryan Henry. And Ryan Henry is just, you know, Ryan Henry leaves a lot to be desired, guys. And we know that Ryan Henry has just slept with his best friend his girlfriend and you know Ryan Henry is a complete loser right um, Anthony Lindsay is his best friend his baby mama he's having a relationship for a few years and he stopped and did it again and at first he was not talking about this right but Anthony Lindsay kept the he kept the power on, right? Like he was not stopping. He went on the Storm on Rose channel and talked about it. Anybody that wanted to know about it, he was talking about it, right? And and, and shout out to Storm on Rose because, you know, it's Stormy getting those, those interviews. And so he went over there and talked about it. And then once he did that, Ryan Henry had to come true, come to the truth about it. You know, the, the blogs were, hit, were hitting him up. It was all over. And so Ryan Henry actually made a video discussing how it went down. All right. We're going to play part of that here in just a moment. But what I want to talk about is I want to talk about just the lies that you're going to hear. You know, the whole I was in a dark place and being half accountable and you know, just the buffoonery stuff that you're going to hear in the video, but I'll play a little bit about that. And then after that, we're going to come back and give some commentary. Last week, you know, it came out that, um, that I had slept with a friend of mine's ex and also the mother of his child, uh, which happened to also be my godson's mother. Um, that was true. There, uh, there were situations where um, that happened uh, almost about two years ago and then more recently. Um, within the last like two months. Um, and then y'all got this last week um, and it's been seemingly as, as much as it was coming out repetitively that uh, I wasn't saying nothing about it and that I didn't care. Um, that wasn't a situation that's far from what it is. I think literally when y'all got the information, I was in Vegas. Um, um, but one big part about that is that you know, myself and all the parties involved, you know, we had talked. Uh, we had talked because this had come about a week and a half before that. But in the last week, you know, it came a particular moment is definitely not about me. Um, it's about me apologizing publicly, you know, because so many people will feel that I didn't say anything. Or so many people that I f felt that I didn't care. You know, this is about me uh, apologizing publicly if y'all feel like, I've apologized to Anthony. We we talked. We talked a lot after this happened. You know, y'all just got it a, a little bit later. So we talked a lot. You know, so so people to think that I didn't apologize to him uh, for my mishaps and my mistakes. You know, we definitely talked. You know, we talked as friends. We talked as brothers. We talked as family for what I did and for what situation I was in. So I definitely spoke on that. When it releases, y'all not going to get it like that. So this is me publicly letting y'all know that I did apologize to him, you know I me mean? apologizing to y'all for being able to get something like this, you know, no matter how far uh, the mess up is, this particular moment is definitely not about me. Um, it's about me apologizing publicly, you know, because some of uh, my depression and how that goes, you know, when we were in these situations and off of each other, and like I said, just given the situations, you know, with us being friends, it only allowed me to limit myself for what, you know, I could reciprocate from what he was given and what I could receive because we had these things over us. You know, it's not um, from the outside view and from clickbait. Like, you know, if you're from Chicago, you know, you know how close we are. You know how in tune we are. You know the situations of us and, you know, our relationships and um, what we go through. So, 
you know, I could I could only give so much back when I'm holding something over me for somebody that I love. And it's like, man, I got to get this out. So, guys, you heard what he had to say. And I, I want to say that, you know, one thing that I hate about people who come out with certain things as not being accountable. It's happened to me before I've done it. I've tried to go away from it. If I make a mistake, I try to say, I got to own it. You know, I didn't do this. I made a mistake. I should have done this. I didn't. It's my, it's all me. But you know, Ryan Henry is, is a punk because he can't do that. And it's sad because you know, it's, 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 it's if you make a mistake, which I don't think what he did was a mistake. I think what, what what Ryan Henry did was not a mistake. He knew what he was doing. And he didn't care about his friend. He only cared about his friend that when he got caught, he was still sleeping with his friend until a few weeks ago, his friend's wife, his friend's baby mama. She's, she's definitely a bad lady, but he didn't care. We gotta stop acting like he cared, he didn't. None of them cared. All right. He just didn't care. He did what he wanted to do because he didn't care. It's fair enough. But he didn't want to own up to it. And he made every excuse in the book as to why. He's in the dark place. So really, what dark place were you at? Motel 6 with the lights cut off? I mean, what's the dark place? In the back of her car while you're butt naked? I mean, you're in a dark place. Are the lights off? Like you knew what you were doing. You ended your friendship with your best friend because you wanted his woman and his woman's a bum and you're a bum. You're not in a dark place. You did it because you wanted to and because you could. Stop trying to make it feel like you had problems and because your problems, you ended up, you know, butt naked in the bed with her. Like, you know what, like date music. Yeah, man, I'm in the dark place, man. I'm depressed right now, man. So uh, somehow I end up butt naked with this guy's wife, or baby mama, and um, I end up with flirting with her many times on text messages because you know I'm in the dark place. If the place was so dark, you would have stopped. If the place was that dark, the issue is the place wasn't that dark. It had a lot of light going on in there. You saw exactly what you were doing. You knew exactly what you were doing, but you want to lie. You want to lie, bro. And do you know what I hate? People who are liars. A liar. Cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Praise God. Church music. And you knew what you were doing. All right. You knew what you're doing. And it's unfortunate. That you can't come out and own it. And you know what? This, these are the kind of black men that we have in the black community. All right? Unfortunately, these are the kind of black men that we have on the black community. Always making excuses for why they can't do this and that. It happens to us and don't want to be accountable. Blaming everybody else. Black men are going to have to get away from behaviors like this. When you make a mistake, you knew you're doing wrong. The best thing you can see, say, is this. I messed up. Got to got to take care of it. So, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Subscribe at the bell. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Guys, check me out here. Uh, you know, basically check out the first comment at the top. I thank you. 
for all that you do. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. Check out the Black Minute Crypt t-shirts. Patreon. I'm out.